and this is the primary outcome, the, the total score of the template decisions. Uh, they could score between 0 and 4 points. When doing uh, a statistical analysis, we couldn't find any significant difference between the groups. And then we actually looked at each, because the therapy decision is divided into four different areas. One is the emergency treatment, the second one is the preventive treatment, the third one is the initial phase of treatment and file. And we could either find a difference if you look at just one section at a time. You could see though that for preventive, most of the students actually did well. And when we looked at the history taking activity, we found that on average both groups run between 17 and 19 questions. And they actually uh, half of those were uh, relevant and half of those were irrelevant. And uh, most of the time they, they managed to actually ask all the required the, the questions that the, the case created out to the required. Thank you. Um, <coughs> why did you choose um a double blind RC2 for this? Because I I really wanted to do control study so I can actually say something. And, uh, I've, uh, for two reasons. One is, as a PhD student, I want to do an excellent study. And uh, I think it's challenging and I really want to. This is the kind of study I want. Usually it's based for, for really strong evidence compared to others. I'm not saying that, but this is really strong and I really want to do it. So, second, uh, uh, that's the way I see it, it's the only way to actually get rid of all the confounders in this study is to have control. And uh, when preparing for it, then I saw it, it was actually possible to do it. We got power of 90% for the first study with 57 people. Uh, so that was the reason. And I could actually draw conclusions from there. And second, I really went down, if you look at, uh, uh, I'm looking at the first initial element, which is clinical vignette, and looking at interaction with the endpoint outcome therapy and the history exam. So I felt that this is actually a good setting to use the best. Um, having created a, a, a very robust methodology, um, how generalizable is it in that only one, one variation of a single virtual patient was actually tried? I mean, that's how the final exam is done. They also have also one case. For me, it was, um, I wanted to try to create evidence of relationship. If you design, if you create a the patient this way, it will have an impact on the way they try to do history, uh, history taking. may have an impact on the scoring of the therapy. That's why I'm preparing some kind of assessment. Uh, so, I think that in, in the real life exam, they also have only one case. I felt that it was appropriate to start to choose the first study on it. Our first study was, and it was being able to generalize these results that the vignette is not necessarily sure.